Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Justin. Welcome to my channel. And today we're going to take a look at the top deck of each color in this BT4 format. Hey, uh, future Justin interjecting in here. I did want to remind everybody that I am still running the poll for one of these three, uh, whichever you like best designs for my future playmat. Uh, so please, please, if you would, take the time, head down to the comment section and tell me which one of the three you like the best, and whichever one gets the most votes, that will be the one that I am creating. I also still have the Bushy Agamon playmats available for pre-order, link is in the description. And uh, of course, if you like the video, you get any sort of entertainment or value out of it, do me a big favor, hit the like button, and then consider subscribing to the channel, because I upload videos all the time. and. The best way for you to stay on top of that would be to subscribe and turn on your notifications. Also, if you're feeling uh, like you're going the extra mile, I, I do have a Patreon. All Patreon members get their name shouted out in the first video after they sign up, as well as their name at the end scene of every single video. Also, rookie tier and higher get these exclusive custom metal memory counters. Also, all members get early access to exclusive special videos like my upcoming History of the Digimon TCG video series that I am still in the process of making. Uh, and then I will also be doing exclusive giveaways for Patreon members only. So if you want to be a part of that, link to sign up is in the description. Now, let's get into these top six decks. And we're gonna do it uh, kind of live stream style. Make it nice, easy, uh, that way there's not a whole lot of editing that I have to do, and I can get this video out to you much quicker. All right, so we're gonna start off with the, the first two colors we're gonna cover are going to be the top two decks of the format. We knew it was coming. We saw this coming in Japan's format. It's really no different from ours, all right? There's a few changes with some promo cards and stuff, but, it's to the top two decks of the BT4 format that we have to contend with are going to be Yellow War Greymon and then Nidhogmon, which is actually the Nidhogg Grand Coagamon variant. Uh, even though Grand Coagamon was in the Japanese BT4 format, it's really made it even better with the promo Palmon, which is why it's popular in our meta. All right, so we'll start the Yellow War Greymon. Obviously, we got. Uh, the, a 4 1 split with a Koromon and an Opamon. Koromon, when attacking, if you have three or fewer security cards, one of your opponent's Digimon loses a thousand DP. Uh, DP deletion is kind of the name of the game with yellow. It starts in this format and it gets even worse in BT5 with uh, Lord Nightmon. So, this is the start of yellow's domination. And of course, the one Opamon, if you have three or fewer security cards, trigger draw one. Uh, both of these have a three or fewer security card uh, requirement. That's another thing that is happening with yellow because yellow does the recovery. So there are cards in yellow starting now and then in later formats that have to do with the whole three security or less or more, that sort of thing. Uh, then of course for our, our level threes, we got Labramon when opponent's Digimon is deleted by dropping to zero, which again, DP deletion, big thing in yellow, trigger draw one. Salomon, if you have three or fewer security cards, recover one. These two are the big ones that released in BT4. Bushy Agamon just has Rush, which means basically you could drop him out of nowhere and immediately attack with him. And then Loosemon, because he is a big 10k level 3, which is insane. Uh, he does have this, uh, if you have 10 or more cards in your trash, you can reduce his cost by 8, making him a 5 cost to play. Uh, this was intended uh, to make him uh, good in a purple-yellow hybrid because purple puts a lot of cards in the trash. But you can also just play him for free off of some yellow cards. And when you do, you get a recovery one. And then we have two drop Salomon and three drop uh, Patamon from the starter deck. When opponent's DP is deleted, you drop to zero. Digimon is deleted. Gain a memory. So, And then level fours. One, one cost to evolve Terrorimon, and the one cost to evolve Petamon Blocker, and then a Unimon Blocker from the starter set, and then in the level fives, Angelwomon. This one is the one that uh, lets you play a level three as an inheritable effect when attacking. So this is the one you did evolve into. Ignore the boobs. Try to ignore the boobs. 
You'll digivolve her into, you know, Slash Angemon. When you attack, you get to drop a Loose Mod or drop a Bushy Agamon. Uh, she also reduces security attack by two to one of Digimon when you digivolve into her. Uh, essentially makes a Digimon impotent <laughs> one of your opponent's Digimon. And then the new BT4 War Groundmon, which is Digiburst 2, and you can lower opponent's DP by 4,000. And then the Inheritable Effect, where you have three or fewer, three or fewer security cards, the Digimon gets an extra 1,000 DP. And then to round that off, at the level fives, we have this Angewomon, which is a uh, recovery. So when Digivolving, if you have three security cards or less, recover one. So this deck is built around uh, a lot of recovery, as well as being able to use Andrew Woman to drop uh, Bushy Agamon or Loose Mon, and then you digivolve your way uh, into Slash Angemon, say from like War Groundmon to Slash Angemon, that is 12,000 DP reduction because Slash Angemon, when digivolving, reduces one opponent's Digimon by 8,000. You also have these other the other cards like Koromon that deletes by a thousand. Between the Koromon, the War Groundmon, the Slash Angemon, and then even the War Greymon itself has a six thousand DP reduction when attacking. So you may add the top card of your security stack to your hand to unspin the Digimon and have one of your opponents Digimon get six thousand negative six thousand DP for the turn. So the idea is, uh, you know. Ideally, if you still have all of your security, you could uh, unsuspend the Sigimon twice to reduce yourself down to three, which will trigger all these other effects happening, uh, as well as lowering your opponent's DP by 6,000 each time, plus you got 4,000 from War Groundmon and 8,000 from Slash Angermon. And then you can Digivolve into Chaos Mon Valder Arm, and when Digivolving, you can activate this effect twice which is one opponent gets negative 7,000 DP, so essentially another 14,000 DP reduction. There's just, there's no way your opponent's Digimon are gonna survive. And it gets even worse next format when BT5 releases, because you have these same cards, but you also have uh, Nightmon that lowers by 4,000, you have Starmon that lowers by 1,000 per Digimon on the field, uh, and then you have Spiral Masquerade, that reduces by 3,000 per Digimon you have on the field, and Lord Nightmon just spans the field with Digimon, so it's like... You can delete everything. So, this is the big deck to worry about. The, the Yellow War Greymon is the number one top deck. It's the one that everybody favored in Japan. It had the most play, uh, and it's very aggressive. It, it, it deletes your Digimon uh, on the way up to War Greymon. It beats down your security and deletes more Digimon. Uh, Chaosmon Valder Arm is a great level seven for Yellow to Digivolve into. Uh, you got uh, Blinding Ray or for uh, gaining extra memory. So again, you can trash security cards using Blinding Ray to gain more memory. And when you trigger down to three, then all these other effects start happening as well. So. I mean, it's your security is yours to play with with this deck, basically. Uh, and then you got TK that you can uh, obviously he sets your memory to three every turn, but also you can pick a card out of your stack as long as it's a yellow card, which with this deck it's of course yellow. Uh, and then you get to recover one. So if there's anything good in your security stack, you can pull it out. That's friggin' awesome. <laughs> The next deck uh, to worry about is the Nidhogmon Grand Quagamon. I already had a whole video covering this deck. I'll link it in the iCard. You can go watch it there. I'm just going to kind of skim through it real quick. You got Budmon, which is good for giving extra DP boost to your Digiburst Digimon, which a lot of them have Digiburst, especially your top two Digimon. Wormmon is a great searcher. Uh, you can look at the top three to pick out a level four or a level five Digimon. Dokunimon uh, gives you uh, searchability for your Digiburst Digimon. Lalamon's use two Digiburst, comes back to your hand. Palmon, when Digibursted, adds uh, jamming to uh, whatever Digimon Digibursted it. Woodmon is a blocker. Argamon as Digisorption, both levels, to help, and uh, Blossomon as well, to help you basically pay for your next evolution. Kabuterimon's your other blocker, to go along with your Woodmon's. And then Lilamon uh, suspends one of your opponent's Digimon when you activate Digiburst 2. Uh, and then if your opponent has a Tamer in play, you can also suspend one of their Digimon when attacking. 
Uh, and then, of course, the guy, big boy himself, Nid Hogmon. If you do Digiburst 4, you can suspend every Digimon on your opponent's side that's 5,000 DP or less. If they have more than 5,000 DP, of course, you want to use your other options, uh, your Lelamons, your uh, Needle Sprays, whatever, to get those Digimon suspended. And then activate Digiburst 4, because when you do, uh, you send all the suspended Digimon back to uh, the bottom of your owner's deck. So they're gone. Like the chances of them ever seeing those Digimon again, highly unlikely. The variant part of this, the Grand Coagamon, has Digiburst 2, and you can add Security Attack plus 1. So if you get a full Digivolution, you Digiburst all four of the cards, basically Digiburst 2 twice, and get Security plus 2, and swing for three Security Checks. Uh, if you got uh, Palmon as one of those cards, then uh, it now has Jamming, so you don't have to worry about it dying in Security. Uh, you got one the one hidden potential, of course, because we're limited to one, but it also basically, it was, uh, by reducing cost by five, you're getting a free Nidhogmon evolution out of it. Needle Spray for, for suspending your opponent's Digimon. And then Mimi, of course, for keeping pressure on. Uh, she's You can use her, you can uh, suspend her to hatch an egg if you've already had one that you promoted that turn. Or if you already had... A Digimon, uh, like say you, you Digivolved into a rookie, uh, since you can't move that one till next turn, you can actually use Mimi when you suspend her. You can go ahead and promote it on up and get an extra attack out of nowhere on your opponent. All right, next deck. Uh, so the first two, you know, tier one, tier zero, uh, whatever you want to call them, S tier, whatever, they are the top decks. Then you've got uh, a couple decks that fall into like a 1.5 area. They're, they're really good. They are good. They're going to be big decks uh, in the format. Uh, may not beat the other two, but you still kind of have to contend with them, especially if you're a type of person who likes to build your own decks. Uh, so this is what this video is for, so you know what you're up against. So this is, the is a, again, a Red Omni deck. Red Omnimon's not going anywhere. He's survived the last three formats. Well, two formats, 1.0, 1.5, and he's here in BT4. But he's got a little bit of extra help with some BT4 cards, specifically the hybrids. Uh, but let's take a look. Of course, we got uh, this deck is very uh, Greymon centric because of Marcus. But we got the two drop, uh, 4000 DP Agamon. We have the Agamon with uh, the Digiburst effect, or the effect for when it is Digibursted, it comes back to your hand. There's a rookie in every color with this effect. Uh, we got Flamemon for our hybrids. We got this Agamon, which adds 2000 DP if it's underneath a Greymon. We got this Greymon that adds 2000 DP to anything above it. Uh, and then, of course, for, uh, like I said, hybrids. This Agunimon for digivolving your Tamer into Agunimon and getting an attack out of nowhere. But this promo Agunimon is good for digivolving into Ancient Greymon right here. And then we have the Greymon that gives an additional security attack to what's above it. The Skull Greymon for deletion. There are some Aldemon here, uh, mainly because Aldemon gets an extra 4,000 DP boost uh, one played on top of a hybrid, which you will obviously be doing, uh, which makes it a good early attacker. Having a level 5 with 11,000 DP means you can go ahead and start swinging early. It also clears an extra security check. We got Rise Greymon, the yellow-red hybrid for the Digiburst 2 for playing uh, red or yellow tamer for free. Uh, as long as it's four costs or less, which both our tamers are. Uh, and then if you have a tamer in play, one of your opponents that you want gets 2,000 less DP for the turn when you're attacking. Of course, the Blitz Greymon that we've been seeing in the Red Omni decks has piercing, and when you Digivolve, uh, triggers the Digivolve 2 on one of the opponent's Digimon. It's just a good disruption to stop them when they're Digivolving into their more powerful ones. The next new thing in this deck is going to be the Victory Greymon. Digiburst 2, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 8,000 DP or less. Essentially, this is you, you want to get to this quickly so that you can stop them from getting into their Mega Forms. Uh, you got the Ancient Greymon for Digivolving from the promo uh, Agunimon. It gets an extra security attack for every uh, Greymon that's in it or hybrid uh, that's under it in the Digivolution sources. And then you got your Omnimons. The the way I 
saw this a lot was uh, Alter S was the favored one over the regular. I like Alter S more than I like the regular Omnimon, but the regular Omnimon, uh, you can delete, uh, choose a uh, Digimon, your opponent's Digimon, and delete every other Digimon with the same name. Good if you're playing against somebody who has a bunch of multiples of uh, the same card. Uh, and then I guess you get you get to unsuspend uh, by trashing your level six beneath it and attack again. But then this Alter S works well with the Blitz Greymon because you Digivolve two here, and then you can tr trigger Digivolve one on all of your opponent's Digimon when you Digivolve into Alter S. Uh, and then you can make it unblockable by trashing your level six. And then for options, we have Trident Revolver, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 6,000 DP or less. Then you get to play a Tamer card for free. Shadow Wing uh, gives, gives one of your Digimon an extra 3,000 DP or a security attack if it's uh, pulled in security. Of course, Gaia Force for deleting your opponent's Digimon. This is great to have come out of your security check. Taikamiya, if you get them on the field, gives uh, your level six and sevens extra security attack because if you have a full digivolution sources underneath it uh but then marcus damon is the big one uh he gives you of course extra memory to three just like ty does but he also gives extra memory when you're attacking with uh any of any of the grandmas any grandmon except for dex doro doro grandmon and burning grandmon the Doro Greymon ones aren't out yet, but Burning Greymon uh, is considered a different Digimon. It's it's Vitramon or Vitram Vitramon, something like that. Uh, in Japan, it has a completely different name. So in our format, it has to specify Burning Greymon because it was never intended to be a Greymon in the in the original Japanese. But you still have plenty of Greymons, Rise Greymon, and your Greymons in there, uh, Victory Greymon. Ancient Greymon, so any of your Greymons other than Burning Greymon, which we're not even running in this deck, uh, you can suspend Marcus, gain extra memory. All right, moving on. Boom. Of course, right after red comes blue. So in blue, uh, the the blue hybrid is actually much more powerful, much more uh, favored over the red hybrid. Uh, but let's take a look at it. I apparently forgot to add the babies. Demi Devimon with the unsuspend ability. Uh, if you unsuspend this one because I'm suspended, it gets an extra 1,000 DP. You got this Vmon that gives you jamming. BT4 Galgamon or Galmon uh, that is just like the other rookie Digibars cards comes back to your hand. Strabomon, which is for searching out your hybrids for blue. X Vmon for unsuspending a level 4 or lower Digimon to get an extra attack. Lobomon for digivolving your Tamer into a hybrid Digimon. The Lobomon promo for quickly getting into your ancient Garurumon. Uh, Beowulfmon who has jamming and essentially allows you to start swinging early because even though he's 7,000, it doesn't matter, he's got jamming. Uh, while this Digimon Situation card includes Digimon with a hybrid in its form or a blue tamer card, so essentially if if you Digivolved uh, Lobomon from one of your tamers or you use the promo Lobomon, uh, then it can't be attacked. So you can you don't, have to you don't have to worry about it. You can swing with it, it's got jamming, it's not going to die, and then your opponent can attack it. So, Beowulf Mon can only, really only be removed from the field with an, with an option card. Where Guru Mon? Once per turn, if the Digimon has a Guru Mon Digivolution card, unsuspend the Digimon. Again, it's just another, uh, another chance to unsuspend. Although, we're not running any Guru Mons, so I don't know why. I guess, I guess they are more interested in the, uh, inheritable effect of giving an extra security attack. And then we got Zed Guru Mon. Digiburst 2 when Digivolving, return one of your opponent's level 5 or lower Digimon to its owner's hand. So just a little bit of disruption in there. Of course, Ancient Gurumon, which is the big big boy, the big play from BT4. It's the one everybody wants. It's a secret rare that's the most sought after. When attacking, once per turn, you may have to spend up to two of your Digimon with Gurumon in their name or hybrid in their forms, meaning you can unsuspend Ancient Gururumon itself, if you wanted to, after attacking, you could also unsuspend your Beowulfmon, you could unsuspend your Were Gururumon, your Z Gururumon, or your Metal Gururumon. And Metal Gururumon itself is able to unsuspend once. You can attack with your Metal Gururumon, unsuspend, attack again, then attack with your Ancient Gururumon, 
and unsuspend itself and the Metal Guru Mon and attack with both of them all over again. That's five attacks in one turn between these two cards. And then of course we got Hammer Spark for extra memory. We got Kaiser Nail and Kakaida's Breath, which are part of the little blue package. Kaiser Nail lets you uh, take a card out from underneath one of your other Digimon. So if you got like, uh, you know, Ancient Guru Mon and then a, you know, a Lobomon or whatever, or any of your level fives underneath it, you can pull it out and then Digivolve into Metal Guru Mon. So you don't have to worry about Digivolving all the way up. You could Digivolve up into your Ancient Guru Mon, play Kaiser Nail, pull out a, uh, you know, whatever, Beowulf Mon or whatever's underneath Ancient Guru Mon, and play Metal Guru Mon on top of it. Kakaitis Breath, return one of your opponent's Digimon to its owner's hand, and then of course we're playing Davis Motomiya, uh, gives you the extra memory, sets you to three at the beginning of your turn, and then you can reveal top three cards of your deck and add one blue and one green, in this case only blue, and then place the rest back at the bottom. Blue Hybrid is a very powerful deck. I would actually have probably put that before the red deck, because uh, this one's probably a little bit stronger. The last two decks, uh, purple and black of course. Purple is going to be another one of the uh, 1.5 kind of tier 2 range. Black, black is yet to be seen. It was almost unheard of when you look at the list of tournament winners and uh, BT4 Japan meta. Uh, but I think with one of the new promo cards, it kind of gets a bit more, a little bit more oomph. And I'll, I'll show you here in a minute. But first, we got to cover the purple. And in this case, it's not a it's not a true like all purple deck because in this format, yellow purple hybrid is actually really badass. Uh, there's a lot of cards that cater to the yellow purple hybrid, like the Nukari. Uh, because it's got some effects, it's got a, an effect that works well with Yellow's ability to to play with the security stack, uh, and then you've got cards like Wizardmon that uh, if you have a Yellow Digimon on the field, it gains retaliation. There's a Gatomon that I don't that's not in this version, uh, but the Gatomon if there's a Yellow card on the field, it gains Blocker. So it's like Purple and Yellow work together real well in this format. Alright, so first up we got Demi Marimon at 2 and the new Xiaomon at 3. Xiaomon, if you have 10 or more cards, adds retaliation to whatever is above it. And retaliation is a very big skill in purple decks now. Uh, Demi Marimon just triggers draw 1 on deletion because there are some cards that have on deletion effects that we want to take advantage of uh, and it just adds a little bit of extra to you. You got Entmon, of course, the, the big uh, purple trash filler on deletion effect to add three cards from your, your deck to the trash. Uh, Tap your mana as the on deletion effect to draw one card. Uh, but in the purple starter deck, we got some cards uh, like Gabumon here and where Garurumon, which isn't in this deck but could be played, uh, that give uh, the, tra the draw one trash one when attacking. Uh, before, it's pretty much the only way to get cards into your trash is through deletion. Uh, it was on deletion effects, like the, like uh, Entmon, uh, as well as some others. But uh, Gabumon and, and Garurumon give you the ability to trash a card after you draw a card when attacking. And then you have cards like Lady Devamon and Cerberusmon that also have the drawing trashing ability as well. Uh, of course, like just like in the yellow deck before, Bushi Agumon and Lucemon, big cards from BT4. You want to play these because this deck is uh, centered around uh, being able to drop level 3s for free. Uh, Wizardmon, as we discussed before, if you've got a yellow on the field, it gains retaliation, and then on deletion, you get to draw a card. Then you got the Devamon, Retaliation Devamon, that also gives retaliation to its anything above it, as well as the Devamon Blocker. So these, these eight cards right here put your opponent at bay. Uh, you can block with these, you can use these to deter your opponent from attacking, because uh, if they do swing at you, well then now you can crash into their Digimon with Devamon here, with Retaliation, and delete them anyways, and now they're out of, out of the picture. Uh, of course, good old Chimeramon for uh, deleting one of yours to delete one of theirs, level 5 or lower. Uh, it works well if you if you got a Digimon with on deletion effects. Uh, 
personally, this, uh, from the way I would use it, is Chimera Mon to delete your Millennium Mon, because when you delete your Millennium Mon, as long as it has the Delusion Source, which it will, it comes right back to the field. And then you're basically getting to trigger uh, your opponent's to delete your opponent's Digimon without having to sacrifice anything of your own. Uh, then we have Lady Devamon, uh, who triggers Draw 2, Trash 2, one Digivolving. Uh, she has a inheritable effect when you use an option card to delete one of your opponent's level 3 Digimon. And then they have this little Cerberus Mon and Cerberus Mon Werewolf Mode package in here. Uh, they work together. You you can play or Digivolve your Cerberus Mon into your service mon uh, and then you play service mon werewolf mode and delete your service mon which will get you the on deletion effect of drawing two and then trashing one so you end up gaining an advantage there and service mon werewolf mode has rush so you can now attack immediately and then for the big boys we are now running mastermon mastermon really gets its stride in this bt4 format you can trash one card from the top of both players' security stacks when digivolving, and then play a purple or yellow level 4 or less from your trash for free. Which is why you're playing cards like Bushy Agumon and Loosemon, uh, but of course you could play anything from level 4 or lower if you really wanted to. Uh, and then we're also running the Anubismon, new for BT4. One Digivolving, you can play a level 3 Digimon from your trash. Could be purple, could be yellow, either or, doesn't specify. Honestly, you could run any level 3 uh, if you had something other than those two in there. Uh, and then everything that comes from your trash gets Rush. So anything that you come off of Mastamon gets Rush. Uh, the Millenniumon, if you delete it with Chimeramon and bring it back to the field, it's Rush. Uh, and then, of course, we have uh, Necrophobia for playing a level 5 purple from your trash. They'd get Rush. And then the new option card from Purple, uh, from the starter deck, is Nailbone. You can play a level 3 and a level 4 Purple Digimon, and both would get Rush, thanks to Anubismon. And then of course we're playing the Matt Ishida to return a Purple option card or Digimon to your hand. Uh, most likely it's going to be an option card, if we're being honest. Because uh, we're not running a whole lot of copies of these options, so when you play them, you can play a Matt and get one back and kind of you basically get to reuse these with Matt. All right, and that's that's it for what we know was going to be uh, high contenders and then in the format. Now, the last one, and I, I was originally going to do a top five video because that was pretty much it. Those five decks were top contenders in Japan, uh, and we're seeing them even in our own BT4 meta. Uh, but I wanted to add in one for each color because it worked out that there was one of each color except for black and I felt bad I didn't want to leave black out so it's now a top six <laughs> uh, video but it's fine uh, the reason why uh, I wanted to add so this is your generic blast mountain meta deck whatever uh, but there's a change that I would make uh, which is adding in promo Sunarizamon for one of your other Digimon. Uh, I don't, I don't know which one. I, I haven't put too much thought into it. Probably the Toy Agumon, the the one that gives you the extra draw power. Uh, but either way, this promo Sunarizamon adds piercing to anything with 13,000 DP or higher, which Blastmon has, and I feel like it was made for that. I feel like the promo Sunarizamon was made to go with Blastmon because he has 13,000 DP and his effect means your opponent can basically redirect your attack to any of their Digimon. But since he now has piercing with the promo Sunarizamon, it doesn't do them any good redirecting your attack unless they've got a, a 13,000 or a 14,000 or higher DP Digimon on the field. Redirecting your Blast Month attack is just going to cost them because you're still going to clear security check because of piercing. So I feel like the Blast Month deck becomes much more viable now as a as a uh, meta deck in our BT4 format because of the promo Sunarizamon. Uh, but we'll still look at the basic overlay here. We got Kapurimon uh, gives blocker, or if this, point, this Digimon has blocker, gains a thousand DP. Toy Agumon gives reboot. This Sunarizamon is the one that when you digiburst it comes back to your hand. 
This Tori Agamon gives you an extra draw one if your opponent doesn't attack you. It's an inheritable effect. And you got Vanilla Nume Mon, Tank Mon, uh, which is the one one cost evolution. And then Dark Tyranimon, which is one cost evolution blocker. Gogmon, which is new from the BT4 format. Uh, Digiburst 1 gives you an extra 2000 DP, but also gives uh, whatever's above it an inherited 1000 DP. So again, if you're got if you Digivolve into your Blastmon from Gogmamon and you have the promo Sunarizamon on the field, uh, now your your Blastmon has 14,000 DP. It's very unlikely your opponent's going to redirect your attack because they don't want to lose whatever they have. You're playing the uh, Mega Dramon that comes from the new starter deck, gives blocker to whatever's above it. And then, of course, Blastmon, which has the extra security attack and the effect for your opponent to redirect its attack, but not a big deal with the promo Sudorizamon. Uh, the Blitz Greymon from the starter deck uh, gets an extra security attack and Digi Burst 2 to gain 4,000 DP on one of your other Digimon. So it's, it's like Gogmamon, but if you have him off to the side, you can add another 4,000 onto your Blastmon if you're concerned about it. I don't think you will have to worry about that. Uh, we're running one Alter S uh, for the D-Digivolve skill, and then the new Chaos Mon that also has piercing, and then when you, it, basically this Chaos Mon is meant to be played on the tail end of whatever other shenanigans you're doing. So you get your Blast Mon, you attack, right? Let's say you, uh, I don't know, you just built up into your Blast Mon and it's got Gogma Mon under it or whatever. And then uh, you got Promo Sunarizamon on the field. You attack with your Blastmon. You know, you, you do your extra security check. You got two security checks out of the way. And then you Digivolve into Chaosmon. You get to unsuspend and attack again. And now, because uh, of its effect, you can not, not only do you get to attack again, you can attack any of their Digimon because you can attack even unsuspended Digimon. And you've got Piercing. So you, you get to take out one of their Digimon and another security check. And then final Zubagon Punch. This is just a little uh, chef's kiss cherry on top. Uh, if you can drop this before you attack, uh, now your Blastmon has 16,000 DP or 17,000 if it's got Gogmamon under it. Uh, it gains Blocker, it gains Reboot, and an extra security attack. Now it's got two extra attacks, clears three security checks, and then when you Digivolve it into... Uh, Chaos Mon, the effects linger because it's still technically the same Digimon. So the Chaos Mon also has the extra security attack, and now you cleared five security checks on that one turn. And then we rounded off with Izzy Azumi because he's like the best of the Black uh, Tamers right now. Sets you to two memory, and then when you play him, you can check the top three cards of your deck if they're all black, gain a memory, which as you can see, they're all black. I really think. This Blastmon deck is much, much stronger with the Promo Sunarizamon uh, because it, the big problem with the Blastmon before was that your opponent can say, ah, oh, no, here, attack this weak Digimon over here, and it wastes your turn. It wastes your attack. So it's like you didn't have much to go on there, uh, but now with Piercing, because of the Promo Sunarizamon, unless they're willing to crash your Digimon, you really don't have much to worry about. They would have to have a 14,000 or higher Digimon in order to really take you out. Chances are they're not going to have that on the field when you go to attack. Even if you do, they probably don't want to waste it. So the real problem was they could direct your Blastmon to their freaking rookie on the field and give up next to nothing but stop you from attacking. Well, now you got piercing with Promo Sunarizamon, and they won't do that. Oh, there you have it. Those are the top six decks, one of each color. Uh, the top color, the top decks from each color. Uh, these, the, the ones we covered at the beginning, of course, are the the main ones you're gonna see at your tournaments. Uh, they're the ones to beat. Uh, but the other ones, the the red omni, the blue hybrid, purple yellow hybrid deck, uh, those are still top contender decks. And I think Blastmon decks are really going to surprise us in this format now because of the promo sooner reason. All right, I think I've repeated myself enough. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay amazing, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.